Hi listeners, in this video, we are going to learn about event evaluation tools and dimensions of uh, evaluation in detail. And it covers quantitative and qualitative data collection tools and approaches to event evaluation, all encompassing critical event evaluation. I'm Dr. Arvind Tears, an ed tech expert, educator, specialized in digital and social media marketing, e-commerce and business law. Evaluation approach refers to the method and tools that are used in the evaluation exercise. The data generated through the evaluation approach can be grouped into two basic categories. Quantitative data, which is number based and qualitative data, which captures descriptive information. Based on the event evaluation, the evaluation approach is decided. Most of the times, the event evaluators use data from both quantitative and qualitative evaluation approaches, which is also called as mixed method evaluation. This helps them to get a comprehensive understanding of our event results. Quantitative approach mostly a questionnaire or survey is used as an evaluation instrument of a quantitative evaluation process. It is primarily concerned with the computation of our figures and numbers. Evaluation can be performed using a questionnaire that attendees complete at the site. Through a computer survey conducted on site or posted online or a telephonic survey. This type of evaluation survey is simple to administer and is quick and easier for the attendees to complete. Various aspects of an event such as a consumer satisfaction, attendance level, ticket sold or number of sales related to the event participants, enrolled for workshops and other sessions and detailed records of other pertinent factors can be accurately measured using quantitative approach to analyze the event value. Careful advanced planning of the tools is necessary so that the meaningful data is collected. Questionnaires for the survey are usually constructed with either a Likert scale or a semantic differential scale. You can see different types of responses which are obtained using quantitative approaches. All these are closed end questionnaires which is most apt for applying quantitative tools Let's see two different kinds of a questionnaires. Number one is an alternative response questionnaire. It is mainly used for collecting demographical data and uh, preference data. Second one is a multiple choice. So you are aware about a multiple choice questionnaires. It is often called as MCQ. Third one is multiple responses. So our type of a questionnaires having more questions than usual in a MCQ questionnaire. The fourth one is a Likert scale. So what exactly Likert scale? Likert scale is a questionnaire method, which is a five point or a seven point scale. The choice range from a strongly agree to strongly disagree. So the survey maker can get a holistic view of a people's opinion. The Likert scale is a scale that asks the respondent to choose between several levels of a satisfaction, such as strongly agree, somewhat agree, neither, slightly disagree or strongly disagree. So next one is a rating scale. It is also a type of a Likert scale which shows the rating performance scale. The sixth one is semantic differential. It is used to derive the attitude towards the given object, event or concept. The semantic differential scale asks the respondent to choose a word that describes the level of satisfaction. The choice provided will be between two opposite terms such as a great fun or a boring. Let's look on to qualitative approach. Qualitative data helps the event evaluator to understand why and how aspects of different event activities. So qualitative approach uses face-to-face -face interviews, meetings, focus group uh, discussions, feedback sessions and observations. However, when direct contact is not possible, a questionnaire or survey can be mailed to the attendee. So since the objective is to gather qualitative data, the tools use open-end questionnaires. So in quantitative questionnaires, we use a closed-end questionnaires. In uh, you know, qualitative data collection, 
we only use open end questionnaires that means a, a question with a box okay there is no multiple choice questions or uh, other kind of a likert scale we are not using for a qualitative data collection questionnaires takes more time to complete and the responses give an idea about the attitude in depth views opinions perceptions of the respondents a thorough reading and analysis of the type of evaluation can help even manager to discover patterns in the responses which can provide valuable informations for internal evaluations of a current event and for planning for the next event nowadays even videos audio messages photo clips and recordings feed the event evaluator with the qualitative data all findings should be reported to the event stakeholders so this approach is used to evaluate aspects such as a reason for attending the event level of satisfaction and feedback for the service provided similar to the quantitative approaches there are financial and economic approaches that focus on collecting numbers and figures of uh, evaluation financial approaches are concerned with the financial elements like uh, cash flow revenue profit loss and debt etc so economic approach incurs on the aspect like a market value and the impact that the event has made on competitors non financial and non economic approaches use qualitative data to assess those financial and economic aspects which cannot be measured using quantitative approach for example perceived benefits from the event assessment of a stakeholders perception perceived challenges for the competitors from the event careful advance planning is required when using quantitative evaluation to ensure that meaningful data is collected because the survey questions may hold different meaning for different people and this can affect the reliability and accuracy of a evaluation result sometimes a professional is recommended to develop the evaluation tools and questions in that tool so that the evaluation process does not defeat in its purpose so next is how to collect post event attendee feedback you can get a relevant post event attendee feedback in a number of ways the easiest way to send out a post event survey immediately after the event has ended however you can also hand out hard copies during the event or if you have the time or resources you could call up a sample of attendees to ask them more in depth questions additionally you can create a focus group or if you have one ask your advisory group or steering company here is an example of a questions you may wish to ask on your event feedback form and the order in which to set it out first one is introduction and thanks it's important to share gratitude for the attendee coming along to your event you may also want to mention here why you are collecting the feedback how and why the data will be sorted and if the answers will be used publicly next is select your event if you are sending multiple event feedback forms you may wish to segment the answers by event next is overall rating this is where you can ask a series of questions that will determine how the attendee found your event overall most event feedback forms will use a rating or a scoring systems like a 1 to 10 to make this as easy as possible for the visitor to fill in next is value for money or time this is a good indicator of how valuable the attendee found your event and can be measured by time money or another variable so presenter or session evaluation is another one this is where you can gather feedback on any entertainment presenters or sessions remember that not every attendee will have attended every session so make uh, this personalized based on their behavior or give them the option to easily skip sections that aren't relevant next is venue evaluation this will allow you to ask if the attendee found venue easily what they thought of our catering options and where else they might like you to host next is nps that is net prompter score it is 
asking on a scale of a 1 to 10 and it's same like a Likert scale. So how likely are you recommend this event to a friend or a colleague? This allow you to evaluate whether your attendees are detractors which is not like to recommend your event to others or promoters which means they will promote they will make a word of mouth next is thought and feedback leave some space here for quantitative answers which your attendees can write and thought they have for improvement just take a glance on uh, some uh, online event feedback forms which is available online so first one is uh, even bright feedback template which offers a lot of our different methods to collect information, including allowing attendees to draw on a diagram and to circle words which are most meaningful for them. Visual methods of evaluating are often more engaging and will encourage attendees to complete the form. So next one is jot form. It is very common. Jot form is a good example of a form that attendees could answer in just a few minutes. By selecting ratings, the asterisk shows questions that are compulsory followed by optional fields like uh, contact details. Next is very common and very general. People are using this uh, platform for uh, taking feedback and uh, research purpose. So SurveyMonkey is providing different templates for uh, gathering feedback or taking response from the respondents. Next is Wufu post event survey. It is easy for reviewers to rank everything from a food to venue then in a single one to five rating system. Potentially creating a better representation of uh, thoughts for one section compared to another. Next we can discuss on dimensions of evaluation. Evaluation from the event organizers and clients point of view. Evaluation should not only consider the clients perception of the event but the organizers point of view as well. The event organizer should first of all see that the event suit the target audience and while doing this it should match the client's brand product keeping the target audience as focus point. This is called a client event target audience fit. The organizer should check that the resources such as staff, volunteers, logistics, equipment and other resources should be appropriate to offer quality services. There has to be event execution with a smooth proceedings without any delay or damages. Any last minute problem can convert a well planned event into a disaster. All the inquiries generated after the event is uh, completed should be responded immediately. The event should be executed in such a manner that it provides opportunities for the client to come back to the event company in future to conduct future events and allows the company to diversify in future. By adopting the event concept to suit local or demographic need, so called as a customization, where the event is being carried out is another success factor. So these are some critical factors from the organizer's point of view. The client should be made aware about the theme, idea or element that has increased the sales of the event as this has provided additional value to the event and given sufficient return on investment for the guests to return for future events. Critical evaluation from the client's point of a view consideration. The impact of the event goes due to reach of the event to the audience and the interaction that take place during the event. Immediate and long-term benefits that generate from an event are important when evaluating an event from the client's point of view. Cost-benefit analysis should be taken up as a pre-event activity to measure the effectiveness of a reach and interaction that the event will have on the audience. To confirm whether the event has occurred, a pre-planned post-event stock-taking activity should be taken up. This should take into account the actual costs that were used in carrying out the event, including those costs that uh, fell outside the budget and also the benefit the client got from the event. So these benefits can be understood after calculating those parts of evaluation that can be measured. Next is using sensitivity in evaluation. Before proceeding, we need to understand sensitivity in evaluation. 
Evaluation by measurement is possible by defining the target audience for whom the event has been organized. An event might be organized to achieve different things for different audiences. For a commercial event, the audience could be end users who use the company's product. Once the audience has been defined, it is advised to note down what each of the audience is expected to think, feel and do have been to the event that it did not think, feel or uh, bore handled. It helps the event manager to add an element of a tangibility to the evaluation and measurement proceedings. Further, an evaluation exercise should consider the nature of the concept and the process of a execution of the event adding an element of a sensitivity to the evaluation process. This is because it takes a sensitive mind to spot wrong or inappropriate questions. For instance, there emerges a situation where observation is more appropriate as a method of a data collection than asking questions. Sensitivity can be nurtured and encouraged by placing evaluation within the context of a team approach all the way from a conceptualizing to carrying out of the event. How evaluation helps to measure performance? We need to understand that event involves a lot of cost in production. Hence, measurement of a performance against the set objectives should be done on a forward-looking basis so that deviations are dictated in advance of the occurrence. Let's see evaluation concept, research, formative evaluation and submitting evaluation are used. Know about concept research. So during the conceptualization stage, if the concept team is not clear as to what approach has to be adopted for the event, an audience research is conducted where a sample audience is provided with the questions in the form of a story and are asked to give the reactions. In order to help the event manager to identify what strategic approach has to be adopted for the event. So this exercise is called concept research. Next is formative evaluation. Formative evaluation take place when the things are actually happening. So these evaluations are aimed towards shaping the final event. So during this uh, evaluation activities are carried out before a small sample representations of the target audience like uh, mock-up displays, presentations, performance are done to research on how the audience react in the way you decide. The objective is to evaluate the success with which a customized strategy is uh, proceeding and to test a concept so that it can be better represented in the event. Next is objective evaluation. Objective evaluation is done in the stage when all the approval from the client is sought before starting execution of uh, event activities. Since in order to take the client into confidence, a certain amount of objectivity and professionalism is required. This technique is called objective evaluation. In this type of evaluation, the event team collects proof on how and why the particular event will be just the right one for the event audience. Next is summative evaluation. Summative evaluation is concerned with measuring the impact the event had upon its audience after the event. The purpose of this evaluation exercise is to establish the extent to which the event objectives have been met and the improvements which can be made in future events. Thus, the submittee evaluation provides the team with an opportunity to learn from their mistakes. Know about uh, correcting deviations. So deviations or changes may occur during any stage in the event designing phase. Therefore, it is important that measurements are carried out at all possible stages. Just discuss on evaluation to measure reach also. In event evaluation, reach is measured at two levels, external reach and actual event reach. Event requires massive external publicity to be noticed by the people at a mass level and to ensure that the benefit of the reach is provided to the client. Press, radio, television, newspaper and other media are used for publicity. External reach is measured by using the 
circulation figures of newspaper and promotion on the television and radio. Ratings such as a TRP, so these rating measure viewerships, are the methods which rate the popularity of the programs on television. The promotions can be slotted around the programs which are more popular. In this way, the measuring of a promotion campaign on television is an effective method to measure external reach. The measurement of the actual reach of an event is uh, comparatively simple than measuring external reach. The capacity of the venue is a figure which is the upper limit for the actual reach based on the numbers of the attendees expected. Ticket sales or number of uh, invitees become the direct measurement tools. Registration of a participants and request for filling in questionnaires are other methods which can be used to measure the actual reach of an event. Definitely evaluation helps to measure interaction. The assessment of interaction is much more difficult than the assessment of a reach and performance that were discussed above. Quantifiable data which helps in measuring interaction from the clients. No, point of a view is got by measuring the number of interaction points. That means a direct and indirect. That have been planned for an event. More the number of uh, these interaction points, better are the chances of interaction with the client. Opportunities of interaction between the client and audience before, during and after the event are also a tangible measurement criteria. The greater the opportunity for increasing the number of interaction, the better it is for the client. Two-way communication increases the quality of interaction during the event. Every event has a set of core event activities and supporting elements to be performed at an event. Therefore, the duration of the interaction is very important. So duration of interaction should neither be too short or too long. When the interaction is for very short duration, it defeats the you know, very purpose of the event. However, when the duration of the interaction is for too long, it may hamper the time slots of other planned activities. The success or failure of interaction component help to determine if there has been increase or decrease in profit or consumption of the client's product during and after the event. For example, the sales of a sponsor's product might go up after an event success. This is a direct measurement of the event success or failure. The event manager's past experience in conceptualizing, implementing, coordinating, establishing reliability and integrity in organizing are important quality criteria. Besides this, fulfilling client's requirements through empathy, mutual trust, confidence and patience are a criteria that uh, clients use to understand the quality of uh, event managers and companies. The quality of an event also depends on the audience quality. Besides the quality of the event, every client would want associate with the ideal client to impress and uh, entice during the event. Thus, the quality of an event can be defined in terms of uh, audience quality. Audience quality depends on statistic related to net buying influence which means ratio of the number of people that can recommend purchase of a product or service to the total population of the event total buying plans which means the percentage of the audience planning to buy a product or service from the sponsors within 12 months after the event and the average audience interest is the percentage of uh, audience who show interest in product or service of a uh, sponsors at the time of event and immediately after that. This can be measured by calculating the number of uh, people going to the sponsors, stalls to buy their products during the event. Another one is return on investment for entertainment, ROI. So one must always evaluate the return on investment for the entertainment that was included in the event as well as the entertainers used. Entertainment that was included in the event as well as the entertainers used. The event organizers need to see if uh, enough entertainment was provided, if it was scheduled effectively, if there were any gaps in the program and if the investment made 
in the main entertainment meets the event organizer's expectation. Value can be added to an entertainer's experience by determining in the early stages of the booking process as to when, where and how the performer can contribute to the success of the event experience. Many entertainers who have appeared in a broad variety of events have valuable suggestion on how they can improve or enhance their experience in an event. So that uh, event managers should share with them the purpose, objectives, theme and overall schedule of the event. They should also communicate to the performers who the client is and what are the clients. Let us conclude that sponsors, clients and other stakeholders want to know the effectiveness and the success of the event as they put money into the event and would like to know if the money was well spent. So this is the reason for publication of a final reports and accounts, particularly for the big events. The event evaluation outcomes enable the event evaluator to develop an event report which is useful for developing an event profile which can be presented to funding bodies of sponsors who have assisted in the event. Presenting to possible future funding bodies or sponsors or interested parties. Recording experience that capture atmosphere and uh, reflect the experience of the event. Establishing benchmark for the similar event in future can be reused when organizing next event. Hope you had a great learning session. Thank you.